A central Texas home for troubled boys raided after a number of allegations, including abuse and neglect. But the lawyer of the man who operates the home says these allegations are just not true. KVU's Patrick Perez joins us live from the Burnett County Sheriff's Office with more on this investigation. Patrick. Mike and Quita, the lawyer says the man and the boys moved to Bertram back in May, but he says there's no evidence to show that those boys were abused in any sort of way. But a neighbor tells me two of those boys escaped from that house on Tuesday, saying they needed some help. I'm glad it ends now. Eight boys are now back with their families after the Burnett County Sheriff's Office and several other agencies raided this property on West FM 243 near Bertram on Wednesday. I feel so much better, and this is what I was hoping for. A woman and her husband who lived nearby and did not want to be identified say the two boys came running to their home early Tuesday morning begging for help. I heard a knock on the door. He went to go answer it, realized that it was a little boy. And the other boy was hidden in okay. the trees. The woman says the boys claimed they were being abused at this home for troubled boys. Joshua Home Ministries manages the property. Well, I guess nothing really surprises anymore, but yeah, it is a little bit surprising. Burnett County Sheriff Calvin Boyd says they had been investigating the property and its operator for several weeks. Uh, we had some uh, um, allegations of some uh, abuse and maybe some labor violations, fraud and some human, human trafficking even out there. After the raid on Wednesday, investigators found enough information and evidence to remove all eight boys from the home. But Andrew Natsiaka, the brother of one of the boys, says he didn't find anything wrong when he spent a week there visiting from Kentucky. The police are not there. They may have done interviews. They may have uh, put some pieces of facts together to tell a story, but they were not there. I see no nothing in him that, 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 that raises red flags. Still, the woman whose door the boys knocked on says she's happy they got help. It did scare us that it was just going to continue again, but I had that hope and there was a reason why those boys came and knocked on the door. Having some issues with that shot there. Sorry about that. We are not naming the man in charge of the home because he has not been charged. One thing to note, the sheriff says the man was also operating two other states in two other states before coming here to Texas. But his lawyer says he only moved here because his wife is from that area. and They wanted to be closer to the mother.